After months of ongoing issues and multiple delays, Boeing made the decision to bring the Starliner back to Earth without the astronauts on board. And they did just that. The spacecraft landed safely, and at first glance, everything appeared to have gone smoothly. Many people even congratulated Boeing, with some suggesting that they could have successfully returned the astronauts with Starliner. But we were wrong. Despite the seemingly flawless landing, it became clear there were serious problems during the return mission. Multiple thruster failures, navigation system glitches, and overheating occurred, casting doubt on whether the spacecraft is truly ready for crewed missions. While the capsule managed to land successfully at White Sands, New Mexico, NASA's decision not to carry astronauts aboard due to the risks turned out to be wise. One of the main problems during Starliner's return was the overheating of its thrusters, which poses a significant risk, especially if astronauts were aboard. The overheating occurred because the design of the doghouse, a compartment that holds the thrusters, traps heat, acting like a thermal insulator. This caused higher-than-expected temperatures, which in turn led to thruster malfunctions. During the re-entry, some of the thrusters failed. And while the spacecraft was able to compensate using backup thrusters, this wouldn't be ideal with humans on board. If astronauts were inside, the overheating could be life-threatening. Thrusters are critical for the deorbit burn, a maneuver that ensures the spacecraft re-enters the atmosphere at the right angle. If the thrusters malfunction during this phase, the spacecraft could lose control, leading to a dangerous descent. Additionally, overheating could damage internal components or even raise temperatures inside the capsule, making the environment unsafe for the crew. NASA engineers noted that during tests, some thrusters experienced temperatures so high that Teflon seals expanded, blocking propellant flow and reducing thrust power. Typically, these seals are designed to work under precise conditions. And once temperatures rise above safe levels, likely around 200 Celsius or higher, their performance becomes unpredictable. Even during the return mission, several thrusters underperform due to this overheating issue, prompting NASA to focus on resolving this for future flights. The complications didn't stop there. Earlier in the mission, helium leaks were detected, and they had already raised concerns among NASA officials about the overall performance of Starliner. Fortunately, Engineers managed to stabilize the system, though it remains a point of investigation. Despite these issues, NASA and Boeing have expressed confidence in Starliner's potential, but the road ahead is challenging. The spacecraft has been delayed multiple times due to similar problems, and NASA is closely evaluating whether Starliner is ready for a crewed mission. Currently, they are debating whether to proceed with a manned mission, Starliner 1, or conduct further test flights. Looking forward, Boeing is committed to fixing these issues, especially the thrusters and helium leaks. They are working on upgrades that may improve the reliability of future missions, but these fixes will take time. NASA has already delayed the first official crewed mission, originally scheduled for 2024. In the bigger picture, this series of technical failures highlights the ongoing challenges that Boeing faces with the Starliner program. Boeing has already incurred significant costs, with losses exceeding $1.6 billion, and some analysts are even speculating about the company's long-term involvement in manned spaceflight. However, NASA continues to support Boeing as they work through these challenges, with the hope of certifying Starliner for future missions. Meanwhile, SpaceX continued to push the limits. Their latest milestone might seem like something out of a science fiction movie. They managed to launch two rockets back-to-back -back within a single hour. This feat is especially impressive considering the typical space launch, which usually involves extensive preparations, with hundreds of engineers working for months or even years. The back-to-back -back launches were also a response to the recent FAA grounding of the Falcon 9 rockets. The FAA had temporarily halted Falcon 9 launches following a landing mishap on August 28th where a booster failed during a powered landing attempt and was destroyed after tipping over on the drone ship a shortfall of gravitas. This incident was the first unsuccessful landing since 2021, breaking a streak of 267 successful landings. The FAA required an investigation into the incident, but allowed launches to resume shortly after, 
provided that SpaceX met all licensing requirements. Despite this setback, the FAA allowed launches to resume after a swift safety review, confirming the incident posed no threat to public safety. The first of the recent back-to-back -back launches took off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying 21 Starlink satellites into orbit. This was closely followed by another launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, which also deployed 21 satellites, including several with direct-to-cell capabilities. A key highlight of these missions was the booster used in the California launch, which marked its ninth successful flight and landing. This particular booster, known as B-1058, has had an illustrious career, supporting a variety of missions, including multiple Starlink deployments and rideshare missions involving both commercial and classified payloads. On its 14th flight, B-1058 made history by becoming the first booster to be recovered 14 times, underscoring SpaceX's advancements in booster reusability. This is not their only achievement in 2024. SpaceX has been stepping up their game in many areas. By mid-year, SpaceX had conducted a total of 87 launches, which included 84 Falcon 9 missions, one Falcon Heavy mission, and two Starship test flights. This brought their launch frequency to an impressive average of one launch every 2.8 days, maintaining a success rate of 98.8%. SpaceX's Starship program also saw significant advancements, with multiple test flights aimed at refining and demonstrating capabilities crucial for future deep space missions. The fourth test flight of Starship marked a milestone by achieving the first soft splashdown, showcasing the potential for reusable space travel beyond Earth orbit. The company is gearing up for a robust schedule that aligns with Musk's long-term vision of launching 1,000 rockets per year. On September 7, 2024, Musk revealed on Twitter that SpaceX is set to launch its first uncrewed Starship missions to Mars in two years. This mission is scheduled to align with the next Earth-Mars transfer window, expected to occur around 2026. The primary objective of these uncrewed missions is to test the reliability of Starship landings on the Martian surface, which is a critical step toward achieving human exploration of the Red Planet. If these initial tests succeed, Musk plans to launch the first crewed missions just two years later, by 2028. However, achieving these milestones requires not only advanced spacecraft, but also numerous preparatory launches. To support these Mars missions, SpaceX will rely heavily on multiple variants of Starship, including a dedicated tanker variant designed specifically for in-orbit refueling. For every crewed mission, several tanker launches will be necessary to transfer fuel in space, allowing Starship to reach Mars and return to Earth. The exact number of tanker launches is still under debate, but estimates suggest that each crewed mission may require as many as 8 to 14 refueling launches, depending on the destination and payload size. Each mission to Mars will last several months, with a round trip likely to take around 18 months, given the distance and the alignment of Earth and Mars during their orbits. These missions will rely on Starship's capability to carry both crew and cargo, with life support systems designed for long-duration travel. The spacecraft will be equipped with private cabins, communal spaces, and protection against solar radiation for the crew. We have to understand that SpaceX's upcoming mission to Mars will rely on the Starship rocket, which, while demonstrating major progress, is still undergoing critical tests to become fully operational for interplanetary missions. Starship has completed four test flights so far, each providing invaluable data and moving SpaceX closer to its Mars ambitions. The first test flight of Starship occurred in April 2023. This flight marked a major step for SpaceX, as it was the first fully integrated flight of the Starship spacecraft and its massive super-heavy booster. However, this initial attempt was cut short when the two stages failed to separate after about four minutes of flight, leading to the spacecraft's destruction. SpaceX learned from this and attempted the second test flight in November 2023. This flight doubled the time in the air, lasting approximately eight minutes and successfully achieved stage separation. 
Unfortunately, the spacecraft broke apart before re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, leaving SpaceX to continue refining Starship's durability during the re-entry process. The third test flight, conducted in March 2024, was the longest yet, lasting nearly 50 minutes. This flight achieved several new milestones, including the opening of Starship's payload door while in space and conducting a liquid oxygen transfer demonstration. However, the vehicle broke apart during re-entry at an altitude of around 65 kilometers, indicating that further refinement is needed before Starship can achieve safe returns from space. As for the fourth test flight, SpaceX is targeting it to occur soon. In May 2024, SpaceX engineers completed the stacking of the Starship spacecraft atop the Super Heavy booster, marking a significant step in preparing for the launch. While the exact date is uncertain, Musk indicated that the flight could occur within the next few months, depending on regulatory approvals from the FAA, which is still reviewing the previous mishaps and conducting an environmental review. SpaceX has made several improvements to the spacecraft, including enhancing the vehicle's resilience during re-entry. While SpaceX is making history with its groundbreaking Starship rocket, Boeing's Starliner project has been filled with setbacks and complications. Boeing's Starliner mission faced numerous delays and technical issues before it even left the ground. On June 5, 2024, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams launched aboard Starliner for what was supposed to be a brief eight-day mission, part of Boeing's crew flight test to validate its transportation system. However, problems began almost immediately, with helium leaks in the propulsion system detected before liftoff. Despite these early warning signs, the mission proceeded. After launch, things only got worse. Five of Starliner's thrusters failed as the capsule approached the International Space Station, and although most of the issues were resolved mid-flight, the cascade of failures gave NASA pause about the capsule's reliability. Starliner eventually docked with the International Space Station, but the planned eight-day stay quickly turned into a months-long ordeal. NASA and Boeing engineers spent the summer trying to assess the risks of returning the astronauts to Earth aboard the troubled spacecraft. After extensive testing and debate, NASA made the decision to prioritize astronaut safety over completing the mission as planned. Despite Boeing's insistence that Starliner was safe to return, NASA judged it too risky to bring Wilmore and Williams back aboard the spacecraft. Instead, Starliner was undocked and returned to Earth empty on September 6, 2024, landing at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. This decision left the two astronauts stranded on the International Space Station, where they will remain until early 2025, when SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule is scheduled to bring them back to Earth. The return mission will mark the 10th crewed flight for SpaceX, underscoring the growing gap between the two companies. Boeing's inability to resolve the issues with Starliner has left its astronauts stuck in space for far longer than intended, now integrating as part of the International Space Station RU and helping with various tasks while they wait for a safe ride home. This is not the first time Boeing's Starliner has run into trouble. In 2019, the uncrewed test flight was marred by software problems that prevented it from reaching the ISS, forcing Boeing to redo the mission in 2022. That second attempt also uncovered new issues, resulting in an enormous repair bill of over $1 billion. Despite these efforts, Boeing is still struggling to prove Starliner's reliability as a crew transport vehicle, leaving NASA increasingly reliant on SpaceX. In contrast, SpaceX has rapidly ramped up its operational capabilities. The company has been flying its Crew Dragon capsules since 2020, regularly ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station without significant issues. If you've made it this far, we've got a special surprise just for you. We're offering a highly realistic Starship model exclusively for our loyal viewers. Since you've stuck with us through the entire video, that means you're part of the loyal crew. So why wait? Head over and grab your own Starship model now. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate your time and support, and we hope to see you in the next one.